Hello. What's up, y'all? We're um, finishing the first round of this tournament and starting the second round. Yeah, so this is the final match of the winner's bracket. Yes. For lack of a better term. The the upper bracket, I guess. In yeah. This I, elimination tournament. It's the winner's bracket. It's the winner for the winners. Um, the, neither of these decks have won yet, so they haven't really earned that Correct. They, haven't, they don't have the title They don't yet. have that designation. We grant them a seat in the winner's circle. However, we do we not do grant them, them the title of yeah, winner. Exactly. Okay. Uh, y'all, so, y'all been watching some Star Wars this weekend. Uh, my friend and I watched Phantom Menace again last night. It was great. <laughs> what a good movie. What a good movie. I, I, love I, I, I love every Star Wars movie now that I've seen Rise of Skywalker and I realize how dog shit they can be. I love every Star Wars movie that before the sequels. So. <laughs> so, it, it made everything, it made the prequels just great. Like, just good movies. I, I was, I, just I fine cinema. I don't know how many times I've litigated these movies over the years. It's probably creeping hundreds creeping probably creeping into the thousands <laughs> but um yeah the thing about the prequels is that they were a singular vision they yeah. were a singular consistent vision they told a single consistent story and well, how whatever the, the outline of that story is pretty interesting yeah whatever whatever the final results might be <laughs> the 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 prequel movie is a result of a singular vision however uh the sequels are not and that's why they three are... separate visions that don't do anything. Yeah, that have no goal in mind. Yeah, other than to make money off of nerds. Yeah, and they got us. They get us every time. Yeah, I guess I I was shuffling this before the stream started, but we'll give you a, a little shuffling. So we got courtesy shuffle. I did I did go heavy event with this Grand Admiral Thrawn deck. This will be the first time I've physically played Thrawn. I played it, you know, like four stable. Uh, stuff. Now I do think this Grand Inquisitor deck probably has a good matchup against that strategy. It, right? it might. It might. Yeah, so it's uh, it might give Grand uh, Grand Inquisitor a chance against Thrawn, whereas normally it's a pretty bad matchup. But Thrawn's not like putting any pressure on Grand Inquisitor, so um, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. I just want to see what this Thrawn deck would be like. I think this Thrawn deck's probably pretty good uh, against Control because my con my sideboard is three restocks and two bounty hunter crew. And I was thinking about these guys in the main deck. The this. bounty hunter crew is sick because it's uh, crazy good, right? It's it's sick. It's not good. I don't think it's good against like the Sabine decks. No, but I do think Bounty Hunter Crew is good into the larger meta game. So, just imagine Swoo getting yesterday, twenty-five back. players cheer at Target Town one. Yeah, Ooh. cheer at Red. Yeah, and we love hearing that. Yeah, I love hearing it. I don't know about Justin. I mean, it's it's. I like it. I like decks. I like that we have tournaments still where different decks win almost every week. I think that's pretty cool. That's yeah, pretty nifty. Okay. Really a testament to the uh to the design of the game. Me first. Thank you for that sub. Kaisa. Uh tier one, two months. Appreciate Lego. That. Lego GI. Okay. I disagree. I'll play this here in front of four. Mm. Crafty Smuggler. IG88 was second place. That's sick. Oh! I, oh, I need to see your top card. Okay. Show it in the middle so the camera can see it, too. Okay. I will take initiative. Okay. Uh, pass. I'm not going to just get two damage in here. It doesn't make any, doesn't mm. make any dang sense for anybody who starts talking about it. Makes no dang sense. All right, I think that's going there. All right, action phase. Okay. I'm gonna waylay the crappy smuggler. I'll play a seventh wheat defender. Take initiative. Um, I think there is a zero reason to get three damage in here. So I'll pass. I think that shield is particularly valuable here.
Take down. I need to see your top card. Okay. Jib. Jabber. All right. Uh, look at the top eight cards for a trick. It gets my knowledge too. Steve the G the Geeve, <laughs> subscribe with Prime. Two months. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate it. I got no tricks. No tricks. This is a, a Justin built okay, this deck. Okay, now you missed one so time with, one, with a guy. Justin built this deck, everybody. <laughs> it's just a bad luck. And you, you blame deck building. <laughs> Typical card game player. Uh, I'll take initiative. Uh, all right, Grand Inquisitor is going to damage Jabba and Redium. We're going to get this slug moving. <laughs> and I'll attack you for two. Got it. Alright, um, okay, got it. I'll attack you for two. I'll attack you for two. I'll play Bib Fortuna. Play Crafty Smuggler. Pass. Fifth Brother. I'll play I Am Your Father, Fifth Brother. Would you like him to take seven damage or me throw, draw three cards? You have how many cards in hand? Two. You can draw three. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Inquisitor Fifth Brother. All right, I'll take initiative. Um, fifth Brother is going to your dome. He's going to do one damage himself to strip the shield off of Bib. To so five damage? Yeah, five damage, and uh, Bib for is going to lose the shield. Okay. Okay, next turn. Cards. Okay. I'm going to use Bib and play Cunning. I'll exhaust and bounce. The question is what? Um, I think I'll exhaust bounce. Bounce? Bounce, exhaust. I'm going to play 7th Sister. I will attack a base for 2. We're going to Grand Inquisitor 7th Sister. I'm going to reveal my top card. Basically, really laser blast and exhaust the 7th Sister. Okay. I am going to deploy the Grand Inquisitor. I'll take initiative. Grand Inquisitor is going to attack your base for three, do a damage to the Seven Sister and Red Ear. 
And Seven Sisters is going to attack your base for three and smoke Bib Fortuna. Okay. Um, 15. I actually wonder if it's worth playing that. Uh, my resource and something. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I am. I, I think I'm like, there's a hold in my hand from here on out, so. Okay. I think I have Vigilance. Uh, I'll defeat Seven Sister and heal five. Okay, I am going to attack you with this hideous slug man. <laughs> uh, take two. I will brawn and I'll uh I'll rear your top card. So Boba Fett, I'll do else. Crap smuggler. Okay. All right, I'm getting SLB to next turn. Getting slubbed. How much? How much do I want to commit? How much? Okay, let's see. You got six cards in hand? Yeah. I have five? Yeah. I can play that. This is three, six, nine damage. Put you to 21. This is uh, two, five, seven damage. Eight damage. Another one is 10 damage. Okay, I'm going to play 5th Brother. Take for 2. I'm going to um, pick up a Fallen Lightsaber on Grand Inquisitor. Take initiative. I'll attack you for... Uh, I'm, I'm going to use shoot first. Job is going to let me play okay. for free. Yeah. So uh, I hit you for 7. I'll damage 5th Brother and Radium. And then fifth brother's gonna attack you. He'll damage himself to damage Java for four. Um, yeah, so that'll be four. Okay, twenty-three. So we, we, we scrape two more points of damage. Pretty out good. Of I think you take the damage, right? So, yeah. Two first isn't getting any value otherwise. Okay. Next. Yeah, I was like trying to decide when to shoot first. All right. So I think this goes down there. We resource just just one more time. I'll just go ahead and get my guys cards. Okay, I'll go ahead and get my guys. Just gonna start collecting these guys. All right, you know we gotta do it. I look at my top two. You know we gotta do it. I think I need. Play vigilance every turn. Uh, yeah, but... I'm gonna play this hideous slug man again. <laughs> okay. Eight. Uh, Waylay. Take initiative. And I'll play a Boba Fett. What's up, DJ? With no name. Hello. We're doing all right. Okay. All right.
Okay, top cards. Okay. I'll take down Boba Fett. All right, now I'm gonna slap you with Java for two. He's gonna sl slither his own way over there and I'll power of the dark side. I'll play Greedo. I'll pass. I'll seize the initiative. I was gonna say you like win with a surprise striker, maybe that's a bad idea. Um I will no good to be dead, Greedo. Okay. Ain't going nowhere. That's it. Going nowhere. No resource one. No, he's not. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to play a crafty smuggler. Power of the dark side. Uh, I choose Greedo. I won't take a shot. Um, uh, Ruthless Raider, shoot you for two. All Vigilance, Defeat, and Heal 5. All right, LCs. Okay. Uh, all right, and that's it. Resource nothing. Okay. All right, I'll attack you for four. Yep. We'll go ahead and entrench this guy. I'm gonna waylay him. Can't play against. Okay, that's something. Um, pass. Sneak attack. Ruthless raider. Do two damage to you. Okay. Um look at this again. Okay, mm -hmm. I use Thrawn. And I totally remember that I count Duke on top and exhaust. Um, um but I died of the I'll see exit ability. Yeah. Sneak. Boom. Yep. Now I was trash talking sneak Are attack. Are you sneak attack believer now? I was trash talking sneak attack before this uh this game. I think for stuff like like that kind of deck, the Grand Quizzer, yeah. where it's like you need to get that last little bit of damage in. And it's yeah. really good with those Ruthless Raiders. Yeah, Sneak Attack Ruthless Raider is extremely powerful. All right, those are coming powerful. in. These are coming in. Yeah, that's all I need. All right, what do we got? Some garbage. No, um, good to be dead. It's kind of useless. Well, it's maybe not useless. It's definitely not useless. I'm your father, I think, is not good enough. I need to be like actually hitting your stuff. Chimera is not... It's too slow. Yeah, let's take those out. Three cards were good. But making an opening is just going to kill stuff, so. I guess it's okay for Fang Fighter to come in. I mean, I think so. To get, get entrenched. Yeah. I guess that's okay. Um, force chokes are right out. 
Nothing, uh, nothing to choke here. I was resourcing the crap out of him. Easy decision, at least. Sneak attack the raider after like an SLB2 is like a damage. That's so much damage. <laughs> That's so much fucking damage. Whew. Yeah, tap out. You know, like try and stabilize, tap out, take another eight. Mm -hmm. It's not good. You've got, um, it's only five resources too. What's up, so... Jinx? It's only five resources, right? Because you were like, oh, you can't play it again. Yeah, exactly. Sneak attack. Yeah. Right. I, I saw the sneak attack because you got off Java, right? No, you drew into it. I drew it, yeah. Because it was on top of your deck. Yeah. There's no Pirate Starfire in the GI deck. I had it in there for a minute and I just don't really like that card. I could see it. I could see I, it. I don't think it's bad. I mean, I think there's definitely a. I think Pir it's, it's worth trying. Pirate Starfighter has been added and cut to s from some of my. I decks. cut it so much. And it's like. It's, cl it's really close. I really I, barely ever get a chance to use it. Yeah, I think so. Uh, if there's a, um, if there's like some low drops that have synergy with getting played in the next set, then Pirate Starfighter stock probably goes up. Oh yeah, because you've got uh, McClunky does the same thing, right? And then you'll you'll end up with like this cunning deck where you're like playing drops for some sort of value, then returning them. You get like and that, reset that would, that shields be... right now. That's like the best one of the best things you can do with those reset yeah. shields, which is good. Right. That's totally fine. I played a Carabas for the first time today. Um, it's pretty nice. I have not played on it. Pretty cool. There was uh, a similar thing for Keyforge. Uh, I think it's built on the Genteki okay. base as well. Um, so, yeah, it's a great way to play online. I think there's probably like a few bugs they still have to iron out with it. I, I ran into a couple bugs today. No, way I choose. Yeah. Uh, I, I take an issue. Thrawn wants an issue at all times. McClunky. Um. All right. I think you are slightly less useful. I think this is a mulligan. And bring a lot, a lot of one drops once in a while. It's nice with the sneak attack too. Yeah. I can see that. You can sneak attack GI and get six damage in with it. It's not bad. Yeah, I saw there was like a release for it and they had fixed hundreds of bugs at once. So I think it just came out last week. So I, there's a lot of. This is essentially like the, the public beta phase, right? Where they iron all the, the stuff. That's cool, though. It's good to have a tool like that in the community. Very good. I don't, I don't know what the uh, last card to put down is. I'm guessing it's this. It was instrumental last time, but I think overall. Um. Okay. Okay. McClunky. I'll take an issue. McClunky! There he is. Next turn. There he is. Hmm. Best card, Mr. Greedo. We don't have McClunky yet. Yeah, it comes out. It'll be here soon enough. All right, top cards. Yeah, okay. I'll power the dark side. Fifth brother. Dignish. We'll, uh... Prod the fifth brother into action, and then I'll hit you for four. Okay. Top. I'll 
exhaust the fifth brother and show you a takedown. Okay. McClunky! Inferno 4. Uh, I'm gonna force throw you. You mean discard a card? Yeah. He's having to think about it, so that's not nothing. It's not nothing. That's not nothing. Alright, I'll discard no good to be dead. I'm gonna do two damage or something. Yeah, I'll do two damage in front of four. I'll take initiative. Alright, next turn. It ain't nothing. Okay, top. Okay. Apparently a day off catch you guys live. Thank you. Nice. Welcome. All right, I am first. I will exhaust the fifth brother. Show you uh, the power of the dark side. Okay. I'm going to attack you for three. Thank you for two. Uh, I'm gonna take initiative. I will take down the fifth brother. We got to go. All right, next. Three. Attack you for three. Attack you for two. I'm going to play Jab. Get sneak attack. I'm kind of liking how this functions more than the blue one. Uh, significantly more. Yeah, from, uh, at least it's doing a lot of it more interesting things. I yeah. guess it's, it's less one dimensional. What's up, Four Quad? Sixty months. Good lord. Woo. My God. Goodness gracious. All right, I will play. You got sneak attack. I got sneak attack. Frick. <laughs> I'll play vigilance. Um, defeat. Heal. I am going to do two damage to Job of the Hut to ready him. I'll take initiative. Job of the Hut is going to attack you for two. I'll let Job of Whale on me, I guess. Slither his way on in. Um. I can get another five here by deploying the Inquisitor. And then attacking, attacking. Five gets you to 12. That's a turn away from SLB. I get, I get slightly more than that. Um, I wonder if it's worth seeing how much damage I can get from Java before, you're, before you answer him. So if I play the Inquisitor, you can like take down him. Um, I knew. I, I, uh, you saw one takedown, and you, then you see that takedown. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I think there was a power of the dark side that I'm somewhat aware of as well. You are aware of that. Um.
All right. Deploy. Um, surprise strike him. So take six. Damage Jabba, ready him. And then uh, Jabba will attack you for two. All right. All right. Next turn. Owie. Uh, resource nothing, I think. Top. Okay. I'll reveal your top card. It's a boss. I'll exhaust Grand Inquisitor. Boss. Oh, he's a six cost. Just kidding. I'll cry. <laughs> I cry every time. I cry every time. I'll play Power of the Dark Side. I suppose that means Java dies. Okay. Um. Sneak attack. Ruthless Raider. Take two, and I'll kill Inferno Four. That may actually be bad, right? Like killing Inferno Four there. Yeah, give me information. Because uh, it lets you put something on top that could maybe tap down Inquisitor. That's or true. Um, but I can't. <laughs> uh, I'll play Inferno Four. Okay. Attack you for four. Take initiative. Attack you for a three. I can't ready the Ruthless Raider. The Ruthless Raider explodes and does two damage to you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cunning and exhaust the Grand Inquisitor and uh, discard Ramp Card from your hand. I'll have to pay two more for that. I get Bosk. Oh, we top card? Okay. Uh, I'm going to give the Inquisitor a lightsaber. Um, uh, yeah, you should be at 26, right? Oh, 26. Okay. He's big. I think I have to take initiative. So you don't take initiative and kill me. So I do. Does I possibly lose the sneak attacking here? Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm playing around Power of the Dark Side. Or playing into the Super Laser Blast. I guess I play around it. Maybe so nothing. I'll pass. Okay. Yeah. No resource, nothing. Joe. Okay. All right, I will super laser blast. Skew. Bang. 
up to you. Sneak attack. Raider. Bang. Uh, yeah, I have a repair, but I can't. Yeah, I don't think you I take, can exhaust it. Yeah, you'll yeah. take four, and then you'll explode. Yep. 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 Woo! Thrawn trance. Yellow Inquisitor. Destroyed. The Yellow Inquisitor. What a deck. Yeah. There's probably a better Thrawn build, blue, a blue build that's not just like only ever play reactionary stuff. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I, I so when I. Out. When I uh, shifted gears on Thrawn Blue, I wanted to do, like proactive stuff, and then his ability, you know, works well with Boba Fett, yeah, works yeah. well with some other stuff. So you could get you to can play do some pretty well with that, I think. But I can yeah. always retool it in the loser bracket. I think I think we found that I can't quite make this work, I, at least for myself. I, I think when you know the trick, when you know the trick behind the deck, um, it loses a lot of mystique. Mm, yeah, true. I mean, there was a point in that game where you had like seven damage on your base, and I was like, I'm never winning this game. <laughs> but then I just like was like, just focus on getting as much damage. Like when you've got an opening, put like as much damage as you can, and uh, that puts you in a hard spot. To right, yeah, that is officially the uh, the winners bracket. All right, so Han Red versus Grand Inquisitor Yellow. Yeah, Tarkin be... Yellow versus Palpatine Blue. Cassian Yellow versus Thrawn Yellow. Interesting. Sabine and Palp Yellows. A lot of yellow advancing. Yeah. Uh, Hera and Krennic. Hera Green, Krennic Red. Chirrut Red, Krennic Green. Luke Green, Luke Blue. Sabine Green, Vader Green. Sabine Green, green Vader Green is the first one match we'll be playing in that round two, too. So yeah. that'll be a pretty good one. It's a banger. But now, it's time for Loser's Bracket. And these are true losers. We got Jin Yellow versus Bl Vader Blue. Okay, I need to borrow a deck, borrow some cards from uh, Chewie real quick. I have to get Cunning out of Thrawn. I got a Swapsies. Uh, it's for the sideboard for this Vader Blue deck. I did. I did make some changes to this Jin Yellow. Yeah, I. I we so uh, all these decks that were into the losers brackets, we ended up modifying. I uh, heavily modified the Chewbacca deck. It no longer bears any resemblance to uh, D houses. <laughs> it's not um, close to the same thing. I don't have the serial numbers filed off the deck anymore. But um, <laughs> the uh, the the Vader deck, on the other hand, is like slightly altered. It's not as it's more control. It's less. Um, aggressive. Yeah, we got deck lists. We'll, we'll be posting so, them in the uh, the YouTube description, but I can post them in here for you right now. All right, so we got the uh, Vader. Did you update these? Yeah, so I've got uh, the revamped list. No, not that. Is this one? Yeah, it's that one. I kept the original one. I, I thought it's best to hold on to the original one instead of uh, blowing up, blowing it up completely. So there's that, and then Jin, Lady Farquaad with 20 months. Thank you. Hey, the whole Farquaad family's watching. Uh, yeah, you love to see it. Maybe it's Cunnings. Yeah, it's just like I I had to just kind of just be struggling at all times. The, that Thrawn deck just, is just struggling at all times to be alive, you know? There are some people who like that. Yeah. Uh, there are some people who like to feel like they're being waterboarded the entire time <laughs> they play a deck. Uh, I mean, like, if it is in control, it probably feels really bad for the opponent, right? Like, yeah. it's, it's tough to play, but... They're, 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 they're sickos. They're sickos. They like to feel like they're being waterboarded uh, <laughs> when they're not feeling like they're waterboarding other people, so... 60 is greater than 20. Yeah. That's true. This is math. Simple some maths. That's some basic maths. Okay, Jin. You're face down with Darth Vader. <laughs> Surely you can use your skills as a it's runaway like, teenager to defeat him. You borrowed my screen appearance to make your movie better. <laughs> I'm going to try Thrawn Red to get damage out, but at that point I just want to play him through Inquisitor. Yeah. Fair. Thrawn is cool, though. Yeah. Um, like, Thrawn doesn't have a way. So Yellow is particularly ill-suited at using Tarkin Town, right? Mm. Yellow is really bad at it. 
I also never deployed Leader Thrawn. I think I might have forgotten about deploying Leader Thrawn. Yeah. I'm not sure if there was an opportunity for me to do that, but I just like I think I just completely forgot to yeah. play him. You didn't play him. You never you never brought him out. You, you went through both games without him. But um, I mean, like maybe you could have. Maybe he. The thing is, like if he if he fights some people off the board, that's fine. That's great. Yeah, that's fine. That's great. I don't. You're happy with that? Yeah, I guess you guys can yell at me in the YouTube comments about that. That's fine. I accept yeah, it's it. coming. It's coming. You know it's coming. Didn't even deploy the leader. It's really hard to uh, to take this channel seriously when one of the players won't even deploy their leader. I know. Okay, fine. Look, I, I feel like I needed to take initiative to not die like every That's turn. true. That's true. You know? it, it, like, I initiative, needed initiative. Initiative is insanely important for the Thrawn. There was probably... Uh, I don't. I just feel like there wasn't a great good opportunity to like... I would have always had to give up initiative if I wanted to do that. Right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think the, the yellow Inquisitor decks units were actually... Like, Thrawn doesn't match into them very no, well. No, because they're all, like, shielded. Like, Greedo shielded, is there. That's, shielded, like, the or, like, he's killing. Uh, Jabba's eight toughness, right? Yeah, I'm not like, killing Jabba. I'm not killing Fifth Brother, uh, unless I have damage on it. But that, that has to be turn it, six. Grand point, Inquisitor right? was really working over Jabba in those games. Yeah. He was just... <laughs> get, just get in there, get in there. <laughs> Jabba's actually pretty good in that deck. Yeah, I was, I was, just, uh, I was thoroughly shocked by. How yeah, it's it like pretty so. good. Now, I mean, um, if you want to, you know, if anybody looking for stock tips for Star Wars Unlimited stock tips, I think buying Jabba's right now while they're less than a dollar, mm. that's a really good call. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Based off of just the little bit that we've seen of the next, this set. is not financial advice. This is not financial advice. Um, I'm just an idiot playing Love card it. games. Take your hagen um, truck. Uh, I am going to Mulligan. Roll that. But I think buying Jabba's while they're um, a, a dollar right now, long term, has got to be good. It's got to be good. He's looking like he's going to be pretty... I mean, hey, he combos with McClunky, right? McClunky. I mean, it, it, despite being very he's like fun... really good with McClunky. Despite being very fun to say, mm -hmm. um, uh, McClunky is going to be a solid card. And if there's so. like a leader Jabba that uses trick cards too. <laughs> to buy all the Jabbas. Yeah. Uh, let's play the tape back and see if that's what I advised. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> just liquidate I all think, your assets right now. Yeah. Change Put them into Jabba's. Jabba's. <laughs> We're buying slugs around here. <laughs> Slug stock. We're food. storing it next to our salt. <laughs> We got plenty of slugs, plenty of salt to go around. Oh, no, look at that. You know what they say is don't put all your slugs in one basket, in one <laughs> salt basket. <laughs> all right, I will uh, be keeping. I'll put that down, and we'll put uh, this down. Are you? Bottom. You have the yellow Inquisitor deck list too. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. He was ta he was talking shit about my deck building, and then he and then he won two games. <laughs> yeah, but I all I did was beat one of your other decks. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> force choke R two before anything silly happens here. I'll take initiative. All right, I'll pass. Play Bodhi. Look at the hand. <laughs> None events. Zero events. A bunch of sentinels. Okay. Um okay. We are not gonna play into Wayway, so I'm gonna play Inferno 4. Uh, I'm gonna look at the top two. These are both good. So they'll both sit right there. Alright. Take initiative. I'm going to damage Bodhi in your base. Next turn. Hmm. 
Okay. I will Tiger Bracer 3. Uh, I'm going to make an opening. Bodhi. Kill him and uh, heal two. Of course, you drew an event. I'll play Lithal Insurgent. Uh, I'll take it for two. I'll play Lothal Insurgent. Draw and discard, please. Vanquish. You drew two events. What the hell? Okay. This man. Well, I'll seize. Okay. I'll pass. This dude. You have how many cards in the end? Uh, four cards. Four after the resource. Yeah. Okay. You have four. Uh, I'll play Chilton. And I'll show you System Patrol, Power of the Dark Side, make an opening. Hmm. Yeah, we'll waylay. I'll attack you for two. I'll attack you for three. I'm gonna damage this one and uh, damage your base. Attack you for three. I'll seize. Uh, I need to play the C3PO and take a quick look at the maths. Math check. Jin math check. Two and three. I'll say two. Let's see three PO. I'll draw that. Great. All right, I'm done. Cut okay. pass. Great. Okay, you're up. Vigilance. Well, kill and gain five. I'll play. Uh, I'll attack you for three. Attack you for two. I'll deploy Jin. I'll seize. I'll play a wing leader. Give rent. I uh, give uh, Jin to experience tokens. I will play Ezra. Take for one, and I'll say three. I'll take it for six, and I'll pass. I wouldn't be the one random not named character that with one health left on the squad of rebels over here. 
Yeah, it's pretty dire. Yeah. Uh, cards in hand, three. All right, I'm going to force choke the uh, Ezra. I'll draw. I'm going to shoot first the Inferno 4. I'm going to... You get a little top two. I'm going to Vader the Insurgent. Attack you for one, I'll say, I'll say three. Six open? Six open. Uh, I'm going to... Make an opening on the wing leader. I'm gonna play a wing leader and Bob Jin. Three open. Yep. Well, pass. So if I hit you for eight, you need to play Vader. You can play Vader and like force throw. Play Vader and force choke. Jin kills Vader if you can play Vader to a blank board, so that's something. I can take initiative and just be ready for stuff. You have three cards in hand. I mean eight damage is eight damage. But so if you if I attack you for eight, you deploy Vader and kill three of you and wing leader, which is not great. Yeah, I think I take initiative. Simply not ideal. Okay. No resource. Hmm. Jen is freaking beefy, man. She's been training. All right. I will take it two. Okay. I'm gonna deploy Vader. I'm gonna play Cunning. I'll exhaust Vader and uh It's like really tempting to give three PO plus four plus O or Jin plus four plus O. No, probably three PO, right? Yeah, I'll give three PO plus four plus O. I don't know if we have the counters for that or not. No, don't worry about it. Okay. I'm gonna palpatine and do four and one and one. Jin, White Vader. I'll take four. All right, I'll seize. I'll play Alliance X Wing, and that's it. Should discard a random card. She's 11 with 5 damage, so you need 6 damage to kill her, right? Well, I think I count. <laughs> I, think, I think, yeah. I think I count 6. You have to, because right? otherwise I just attack into him, right? Yeah. 
So. I think account six there. I will tag you for two. First time catching you live. Love the content. Thank you so much. Welcome. I'll take it down. I'll play R2. Bottom. Get the heck on the bottom. Power of the Dark Side. I'll play the Millennium Falcon. I will seize. I'll take it for three. And pass. I'll play the one for Falcon. I'll take the Falcon down. Play Han. No, power of the dark side. You take initiative. Play Death Star Stormtrooper. Yeah, no, I'll ping you for one Vader. Uh, deal one damage to a unit. I guess I don't. Oh, I guess to, I don't yeah, have to shoot yeah. it. So. Canteen bouncer. Bounce that boy. Where are you playing? I'll play Fleet Lieutenant. I'm addicted to Star Wars. Yeah, we are too. That's good. That's very good. Uh, I'll do a damage to the Cantina bouncer and damage to your base. Take initiative. Uh, I'm gonna vigilance. We'll defeat the fleet lieutenant, and I'll gain five. Okay. Thirteen. Start with the cantina into the Death Star. Yeah, the pay one for that. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm used to paying one for my freaking hero abilities. Take two. Uh, I'm going to play an Avenger. I'll play a Bodhi. I have a Super Laser Blast and a Devotion. I'll get the... The Super Laser Blast. I'll take initiative. Cantina Bouncer. And, um, pass. Oh, super laser blast. This man, top decking <laughs> SOB. I'll play Alliance X Wing. No, play some death troopers. Maybe we'll just shoot themselves. <laughs> Do they have to? Oh, that's enemy, right? Yeah. Does it say you may? Nah, it says deal. Indiscriminate fire. Most all insurgent, please draw and discard. Devotion. Well, sees. I'll cunning. I'll discard a random card and uh, turn a non linear with four or less power at center. Bouncing the Death Troopers makes a kill with all insurgent. 
I could just bounce some Salt Insurgent. Is there any use in doing that? You're gonna kill... Yeah, I'll bounce it. I'll bounce it. Okay, my turn. Yep. Or end of turn. Rather. Attack you for three. Play. Well, I'll attack you for two. Play a Dust Star Storm Trooper. Play Millennium Falcon. I will shoot the X Wing for one, do one damage to your base. Play Ezra. Force choke, Ezra. Tag it for three. I'll seize. Play Lothal Insurgent. Make you draw and discard. Mill one. Mills a super laser blast. Lovely. <laughs> All right, that's it. Love it. I'll pay for the Falcon. Play Childson. Showing nothing. Well, Asteroid Sanctuary, I'll exhaust the Death Trooper and shield the Insurgent. I'll shoot the insurgent in your base for one. Play. No. I'll gin the insurgent into the Chilton. I'm going to take down the Falcon. I didn't show the takedown because I didn't want him to play around uh, it, so. Play Dodonna. I'll attack Dodonna. Thank you for three. I'll seize. Okay. Man's playing vigilance? No, what are you doing? Are you playing vigilance? Yeah. Okay. I am going to defeat Dodonna and. It's not running Spark. Spark is in the sideboard, though. Um, it, it might be mill time. <laughs> it might. We're getting there. I have uh, 12 cards. There's gain five, there's shield, there's mill. Like, it's all actually good here, right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, put Dodonna back in play. Okay. Um, we'll defeat the X-Wing. Okay. And then I will
shield. I'm going to Leia the Death Trooper. Okay. I'm going to... Uh, Vader has not activated. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Death Trooper the Dodonna. Uh, wing leader, the insurgent. All right, I'll shoot the wing leader and pick your base for one. Attack your base for five. I'll seize. I'll play R2. I'll play 3PO. That's 83. Play lieutenant. And that's it. All right, you got it. Okay. Wing leader. You drew too many cards. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I was playing against so many cards. I was digging. Um, yeah, all right. Gin yellow, baby. Like, the... Hi, hi, I'm the stuff that takes over the point of the game that we were at. All right. Spark. Spark does seem good against that. But what take comes out? Shoot first is not I, amazing. I I think I lost that game to Wing Leader because you got to Wing Leader gen the twice. Gen twice. That was insane. So yeah, yeah and it was um, specifically Wing Leader, right? Because I had like double power of the dark side of my hand mm -hmm. at the time. Um, so Dude, oh, that's probably bad. Is Mono Yellow Gin the best deck? It's not. But I think it's got a game. I think it's got a game. It's coming out, I think. I, I think that was 100% draw. Like, I think most of the time the game does not play out that way. We'll see. We shall see. I don't know. I mean, mostly I don't know, the because like I was able to kill Vader with Jin, and otherwise I think I have to run waves of rebels into him, <laughs> exhaust him. And yeah, a bunch so of at home, right? um, I passed. I mean, you sussed it out yeah. correctly. So if you attack my base for eight, Vader kills, Vader kills Art uh, C three PO and the Wing Leader. Yeah. Um, and then I've got Power of the Dark Side, right? And okay. then um, and my hand was Palpatine as well, and so uh like yeah I, I i feel like if i draw any dooku avenger palpatine of which there were like another four remaining in the deck and i i think i had like eight or ten cards left if i draw any of those at that point then i'm not just trading one card for one card which is where i was at I, and actually i wasn't even trading one card for one card in some of those situations You're giving me a card That's um, joke, right? yeah exactly so yeah. uh in in yeah if i like the second palpatine the uh the i mean you 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 like we got past a point in the game where uh you had discard stuff you just happened to manage to line enough of it up to get rid of the avenger yeah. right um and so like an avenger in that situation is really really good because then i mean like yeah you can bounce it a couple times but it's going to kill a guy each time so <clears throat> Or in a Ruthless Raider, um, there were two more of those in the deck, right? Yeah. I the Ruthless Raider would have killed the X-Wing or any of the, like, the ground drops, and then it's like a, a significant threat in space. Um, okay. Um, is this hand keepable? I don't think it is. It's got a lot of the stuff that I want, but I don't think it's quite keepable. So. I do think Lana Jill Gen is probably the best gen because it's playing like all the most disruptive stuff. Like a Bodhi and Cunning just goes a really long way. And yeah, even the Cantina, Cantina Bouncer does some work. Uh, he's good against this stuff, right? Yeah. I, 
I'm yeah. tapping out. For... It's good against a lot of stuff. I don't, it's, it's definitely bad against some stuff, like actively awful. But yeah, I don't think Cantina Bouncer is quite good enough against uh, like Sabine. And no, I think it's way too slow. That has to. It's like this deck probably just gets run over by Sabine. So you know. Oh, actually, I take that back. I played against the Sabine on Carabas earlier with this deck and beat it. So just saying, just saying. That's a one hundred percent win rate. Okay. Beat Sabine Green. Beat Vader Blue. Um, I have to put a card down. I'm absolutely. Uh, that'll stay. Spies it, but okay. Uh, I'm gonna Inferno four. I'm gonna take a look. We'll keep those right there. I think I'll take an ish. Whoa! Huh? Oh, you did. Okay, I see. I see. Whoa! I'll On Inferno four. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll take an issue. All right. Uh, pass. Okay. Uh, I got a resource something. Attack you for two. Wing leader. Uh, force choke R2. Attack you for. Three. I will blast R2 later. Damage Dead. Trees. Got it. Uh, take this. Take it for two. Okay. Uh, Inferno four will kill the wing leader. Alliance X wing. I'll play Childson. I'll show you these. Two play to blast Vigilance Avenger. Yeah. I'll play Alliance X wing. I'll seize. Pass. I'll attack you for five. I'll gin into the inferno. I'll pass. I'll play three PO and say two. It's a C three PO. I'll entrench this X Wing. Hmm. Play Millennium Falcon. Well, pass. Take a race for three. Oh, oh, seize. Seize, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, pass. I was thinking I was I maybe need to run like the neutral and in, in uh, attachment removal in this deck because it doesn't really have a good way to deal with entrench. I guess I could like bounce my own guys, but uh, I'll kill C three PO. I pay for Falcon. Uh, 
I'll take you for three. I'll uh, kill the X-Wing and gain five. The Vigilance, I will deploy Jin. I'll seize. I will Fleet Lieutenant into the Chilson. And pass. I don't like this turn. Uh, I'm going to entrench Jen. I'm going to spark. Yeah. I'll put the super laser blast in the yeah. yard for you. What is the other stuff? The system patrol craft and Avenger. Okay. I'll play system patrol craft. Yeah. I'm going to play cunning. I'm going to discard a random card and then bounce that. I paid for copy. Um, I'll seize. Tag for three. Yeah. Tag for three. Yeah. And pass. Okay. I'm going to take down the Falcon. Wing leader. Lieutenant. We'll deploy Vader. I'll lay the Vader. I'll seize. I will attack you for five. And that's it. Uh, Vader's going to fight the fleet lieutenant, and he's going to do two damage to Leia. I'll play Bodhi. Vigilance, Inferno 4, Sys Patrol. Okay, got it. I'll play Inferno 4. Uh, attack Vader. She takes 4. Yeah, uh, is not dead. I'll seize. I'll play Lithal Insurgent. You're on discard. I'll 
Okay. I'll take it to you. And pass. The Slam Emperor. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Don't sling my cards around. It's disrespectful. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot this X Wing can actually attack that. <laughs> oh well. This is an argument not to, because you don't want me to see what cards I'm drawing from the next turn. Right? Yeah, that is fair. I actually probably don't. All right, we're gonna attack Palpatine. Let's clean the gin up. Um, I will attack your base for two. Okay. Play Leia and ready a resource. I will seize. I'll play Wing Leader. Buff Leia. And pass. Well, actually, I'm, I am going to attack the Inferno for this time. Because that kills my Wing Leader. I should call a judge. You're right. <laughs> that was unacceptable. And I'll pass. How many times do I have to say I'm the John McEnroe of playing Star Wars? <laughs> Palpatine, once again. Four, one, one. Cantina Bouncer, my X-Wing. <laughs> and he gets a treat. We'll get him a treat after this. Remind me later. Uh, I'll do a damage to the Bouncer and one to your base. Take an issue. I'll pass. Surprise strike the Palpatine. The Ruthless Warrior, two to your base. Spark. Ooh. Vigilance power of the arc's like Dooku. Ooh. Dooku. I'll seize. X Wing. Pass. You get that. System patrol craft. Bouncer the Raider. All 
part of the dark side. Hmm. I'll just leave space. I don't like it here anyway. I'll play a fleet lieutenant. I'll seize. Pass. I'll show you vigilance and make an opening. Builds in plus two. All cunning, I will discard and then bounce. Power four of less. Make an opening. Vigilance, uh, defeat, and gain five. Three. Attack you for three. Next wing. I'll seize. Pass. Patrol craft. Take him out. I will take your three. Power of the dark side. Play Ezra. Raider two to Ezra. Do your base. Bounce the reader. I'll shoot Ezra and shoot your base. Take initiative. Okay. Tag, you were three. Look at my top card. Play General Dodonna. Is Giga Sweaty.
Chilton. Showing nothing. That's the debate, isn't it? Mm, I see. <laughs> Showing nothing. Showing nothing. I'll play Bodhi. Power of the Dark Side, Force Choke, Raider. Force Choke it is. Raider, Blasting. Ezra, two to your base. Yeah, got that. I will gin into Chilton. I guess I seize. Okay, pass. Power of the, the dark, dark side. Can't see the bouncer. Thank you for four. Childson, and I'll show you Inferno four. Plus one. Inferno four is only card in hand. If four resources open. You're at 27. Play this Lothal Insurgent. Attack you for four. Play Millennium Falcon. Attack you for three. Attack Chilton. 
I seize. All right, I'll wait later this guy. Uh, Tiger base for three. Okay. Yeah. Woo! It's over. It's over. There's that like the thing about this matchup is there's no way to get cards out of your hand. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I have to play against your whole deck. Like literally, have to beat every card in your deck, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um. Didn't even see my Hans. Yeah, my Jin best deck. It's that simple. Yeah, it's that easy, no. baby. Jin beat up Vader. We watched it happen. All right, look at your treats. Hold, please. Till we go to the next game. Eddie, want treats? Two treats? That uh, does not my deck. I would never, ever, ever play that deck at tournament. Jin, good no. lord, no, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Did you see all the stuff I had to do to beat that game? Or to win that game? It's a pretty good, like, negative play experience for the opponent. I feel like that kind of stuff. A lot of good, a lot of discards. Uh, it's... Yeah, specifically the, con like, the event-heavy control decks, right? Yeah. That's, that's where your matchup those, yeah. is fine. That's where you have a good matchup. And you were two damage away from dead, right? So, um... It was real close. Uh, I... Uh was worried I maybe I should have counted. Um I think I had to I think I needed to count there because um I don't know if all of your like surprise strike fleet leader, wing leader stuff had been accounted for because I was worried that I would die to a single attack from surprise uh, strike. You could have. I just didn't okay. have it. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't have it. Yeah, so that's why I didn't get the damage in on the turn before, right? Like so. Um, I there were multiple board states where top decking super laser blast. I should have uh, uh, to to play it up to play up my anger for the stream. I should have milled until I found the super laser blast. Um, because there were I, there were multiple like when you kill the Inferno Four, I'd be like super laser blast would yeah. be good here, you know, type of thing. And I obviously didn't see it. So I'm, get my I'm going back to. This that you know what you know what the problem and I think what the lesson we learned here is um, when you play the coward's approach of just that's sitting back games. and removing yeah it's both games um, you deserve to lose so I agree yeah no I think you should be aggressive avoid mission briefing I don't think that I don't think you draw enough from that I'd rather play Star Wing Scout or something right um I need more R2s three twos dude three PS dude. Yeah, there's not enough. I gotta be swapping around all the time. Never enough robots. I assume you're programmed for etiquette and protocol. I have no need of a protocol droid. Alright. Chewbacca versus Chewbacca. One Chewbacca can only one Chewbacca can exit this matchup alive. Twenty. 20. Thirteen. I have an issue. Uh, I don't. I don't know if this is going to be as drag out as the last ones. Uh, both these decks actually want to win the they game. They do like so. try to win the game. Yeah, I need to shuffle a good bit because they're all they're all together. I, ECL in this Chewbacca build that I made is not like the greatest. I don't have the the ACL targets in here. I don't have like the the fighter. I don't Step have fast. steadfast battalion. Because, like, Steadfast Battalion doesn't really work that well with Chewbacca, I feel like. Since it's, it comes it, out at 7, that's yeah, just too late. It's way, way, way. So I think the ECL is just there to, like, if I can get any value out of it, I take it, I think. It's best with Kanan, probably. Yeah, Kanan's a good target for yeah. it. But other than that, I don't really have much else. Probably just using it with, like, a Fleet Lieutenant or something. You're doing a storage right on Yeah, right? my storage doing one. When's that? Uh, May 25th. Okay. Uh, Empire Games in Anderson, South Carolina. So, if you're close by, minor plug. Yeah. Full disclosure: I am an employee of the store. So, yeah. Hashtag ad. Upstate South Carolina. It's about two hours from Charlotte, about two hours from Atlanta. So, same day as yours. We plan that mm -hmm. to siphon all your people. We actually still have product to give away. So they nice. gave us. They gave us product to use that we're using as a door prize. They gave us a free booster box, so we're going to raffle away 
I think technically in South Carolina, you can't say the word raffle. Uh, <laughs> um, randomly distribute. We're going to door prize distribute uh, the packs to people who show up and play. Cool. And then we've also got product for the top cut. So if 32 people get there, first place gets a box. So that's like a significant, significant value. That is really good. Jeez. Chewbacca Red. I don't know what you're doing. I've completely changed it. This yeah, deck bears no it. resemblance. Okay. None whatsoever. To the deck that came before. Um, okay, so that is going down, and then I think this goes down. And I am going to play C-3PO, and I am going to say the number... Um, I think this deck is like 14 twos and 14 threes. I'll say the number two. It was not. Play R2. Leave that there. Um, I will take the initiative. All right. Next turn. I guess I could, we could Chewbacca those guys into play, but, you know. Uh, I am going to put a Jedi lightsaber on C-3PO. I'll take a race for one. The top card. I can stay. Uh, C-3PO is going to attack your base for four, and I will say the number two. Okay. I'll resupply. I'll take initiative. Pass. Four seven. He's like a freaking hero. Uh, I'm gonna Chewbacca in R two D two, and we're gonna take a look at the top card. I'm gonna give R two D two a Jedi lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just funny. Um, RTD2 is going to pick up an Electro Staff. Okay. I will attack RTD2. Okay. Um, so I will take three. Yeah, I'll take three. And you'll take three. I'll look at the top card. Um, C3PO. He has to kill his friend. He has to kill the evil R2. <laughs> um. Sure. Uh, C-3PO is going to go into the evil R2. Take, uh, four. take four. And I'm going to say the number two. It's another Electro Staff. I'm going to play C-3PO. I'll say the number two. It's another C-3PO. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put... Um, can I take initiative here? I think I take initiative here. I could play another Electro Staff, but I think I'm better off just taking initiative. Okay. The decks are so effing the same. S Spider Man. Yeah. Pointing on Spider Man. Um, so it, so C three PO has to be the one to do the deed against your C three PO. Um, but I want I wanna um but I wanna guarantee draw a card. All right, uh, RTD2 is going into your base for three, and I'll look at the top card. Okay. Well, Chewbacca R2 into play. And look at the top card. Okay, uh, C3PO will kill RTD2 again. <laughs> yes. And uh, I'll say the number three, it's Yoda. I will. <laughs> we think we a lot of droid fighting going on. Um, actually, I'm going to use ECL and have Kanan fight R2. 
Okay, so he'll take three. Yeah. Uh, he does actually do enough damage. He'll no, mill me for two, so he'll gain two. Uh, I'm gonna Chewbacca and Yoda. I'll fight Yoda. I'll say eight and one. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to be three for Yoda. Um, Yoda is gonna pick up an Electro Staff. Take initiative. Okay. Next turn. Okay. The force is with me. On uh, if you control a force unit, get this. So I can give plus two to Kane, and he can kill Yoda, right? Uh, yeah. My mass. If my mass checks out, I'll draw. And the mill one, please. Two. And the shield token. Uh, Guardian of the Wills with Chewbacca. I'm going to deploy Chewbacca. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, the force is with me, C3PO into Chewbacca. For six? Yeah. And I will say the number three. That's a Jedi lightsaber. Put Electro Staff on Chewbacca. Uh, I will take the initiative. I should have put, it binds all things in here. I didn't play that card. Um, Chewbacca has 11 health, five damage, you need six damage to kill him. Do I just pass here? Uh, I'll attack the Guardian. And then I'll attack you for one and say four. Chewbacca needs three. Yeah. I'll loop him. Uh, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. I will. Akbar, 3PO, for 3. Does it not kill him? Am I um, he has 6, 9, he has 5. Your math is off. You need one more to kill him. I'll take you for six. 
Okay. Uh, mill and electric stuff. Uh, I'm going to slap Chewbacca on play. I'll strike true the 3PO. So that's six damage. Okay. Uh, Chewbacca is going to kill C3PO. I'll play Akbar and shoot Luke for two. One card in hand. Yep. Okay. I'll seize the initiative. Pass. Did I add my own base there? What did I add? To. What is wrong? I might have. I attack Nathan for six. Oh, instead of uh, healing. I got you. Should I be at one then? Two cards in hand? Yep. No, uh, regional governor, home one. Blue Ewing. Reinforcement. All right, let's see. It's not a good pile. I would say it's not good at all. I guess I get Bright Hope and a Restored Arc. I will not use the Restored or the Bright Hope ability. Although it is probably it's tempting. I, I will. I'll bounce out Akbar. I'll bounce Akbar. I need to draw. Should be eight to two. Okay. I will trust. That was the three PO attack. Okay, okay. I got you. I'll play Obi Wan. Okay, I guess I'll attack Obi Obi Wan. All right. I'll give uh, tokens to Chewbacca. Mill one, please. Uh, actually, um, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, so you'll heal two. Um, give two experience tokens to another for the unit. If it's a force unit, draw a card. So I guess I gotta give it to Luke then. Um, so he'll die and I'll draw. Okay. Uh, my attack, why? Well, I think that's Luke Skywalker on your base for eight. And I gain three. Yep. Uh, I'll take initiative. Chewbacca will attack you for three. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Chewbacca will definitely win this match. We know that. Oh. Guy did what did I do? I made Nathan. Is it five? Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This guy, you gotta watch this guy. Yeah, please watch it. You gotta like, watch this know. guy. I my buttons are all very close together over here. Okay, and they all look the same. So watch this guy. Just let me know. 
You don't have to be mean about it or anything. <laughs> I was a fan of this channel until it demonstrated the inability to perform basic math functions. Yeah, well, that's reasonable. Uh, I will play Wing Leader. Right up. I'm going to attack you for eight and gain three. I'll strike true the regional governor. I'm going to attack you for three. Thank you for two. I'll play a mace. Take her four. I'll seize. Akbar, do one damage to Luke. And pass. Attack you for eight. Mm -hmm. you're, you're an ECL. And not a 30 I'm health not, I'm not 30 health, yeah. yeah. Yep. True. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know if I've lost the regional governor, but that was not great. I think we put that in. Put our own regional governors in? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. What do I actually cut? That yeah, that won't. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to figure out. I do not know. I just leave space behind. All right, need to win, reset. Now we see me initiative. Do we need a lightsaber? Yeah. I guess I should have attacked three PO with. No, I couldn't kill 3PO with Chewie's attack, right? No, I could have. When you talk, when? When it was like the Guardian and 3PO. You couldn't attack 3PO because the Guardian was it had, a, okay. it it a, a Sentinel. That's right. Okay. I, I know there's a reason I had to attack that. Yeah, you, uh, there was one turn where you got initiative and you forced... You played the forces with me before good force is with me. Yeah, yeah. You. Yep. That, and, that's, that was very important, I think. But yeah. um, Because uh, Kanan was on the table for another 45 turns <laughs> yeah. after that. So. Right. Yoda was, like, ready to kill him. I had debated not attacking with Yoda to not get the damage on him. or such the Yoda shot. had one damage on him, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep. Um... And yeah, that's what mattered. Uh, I, it was sentinelled. I sentinelled Yoda, and uh, I threw it and C three PO into it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was trying to um, set up the forces with me because I'm playing the Guardian of the Wills just so I have an extra force unit. Um, because I was looking at the numbers and I was like, I think you have to play it because mm -hmm. there's not enough. 
I'm not like ecstatic like okay. about that card, but that's good um, enough. I, I think. think if you get enough momentum, then you'll yeah. you know it'll it'll take over a game. I'm first. Playing regional governor. I want this card in here to name like Luke. But, you know, like Luke right now is pretty useful. So what do I not want you to play early game? Um, Yoda is pretty good call. C3PO is based. So you might play one right now. Or R2. But you might be either one. I'll just say Yoda. Okay. I'll play RTD2. Okay. That was definitely not what I was going to call. Put that under. And I'll claim. All right. Chewbacca Yoda. Lightsaber. Lightsaber is a reasonable pick there, I think, too. Uh, I'll attack a race for one. Uh, R2 is going to kill Yoda. Yeah, I'll draw. You can also let me draw. Nope. Nope. Uh, take initiative. Uh, I didn't even use R2's ability. Four seven, huh? All forces with me, the regional governor. And uh Tiger Base three. Play a cannon. Uh, take initiative. I'll attack your base for four, and we'll look at the top card. Yeah, we'll leave that right there. Okay. Oh, I got to resource one of these. Um, impossible to know which one should be resourced. Guess it's that. I will traitorous star two. All right, disabling Fang Fighter. I'll leave him over here. Leave him on this. What is this? What is he thinking doing? What does he think he's doing? Tiger base for three. Look at. <laughs> All right. Um, R2 into your base for four. I'm gonna look at the top card. We'll leave that right there. Initiative. Um, are we taking on this, or am I just racing you? I think I just race you. This is named what? Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> Yoda. I, 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 do I look like I need a Muppet to help yeah. me? Um, Kanan into your base. Mill. Luke. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I'll pass after you've seized.
Can't go base defender. Three open. Yep. I'm a lightsaber cannon. My god. I'll resupply. Um, Fang fighter into your base for three. Tag you for three. R2 into, uh, wait, he would explode. No, he wouldn't. He's just got seven. R2 into the that guy. Cannon cuts him down. Yeah. This is dead. I'll take initiative. Uh, am I killing this regional governor? I'm at 15. No, I'm attacking I'm you for seven. <laughs> I'm at 15. Nathan. I'm attacking you for seven. Yeah, no. I lose. No. I lose next turn. Oh, okay. I'm one. <laughs> Cannon attacks your opponent, mills 20 or more dollars worth of cards. <laughs> that was discard, definitely more than $20 worth of cards. Discard, the, discard cards in multiples of $20. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. Chewbacca Red. Chewbacca Red by turning into Chirrut Red. Well, we made the Chewbacca Red deck better. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that that makes sense. Actually, that does make sense. Okay, look at that. There's your Star Wars for the day. Chewbacca, how you doing, Chewbacca? Pretty we good. Have, we have lost a Chewbacca. We have lost a Vader from the tournament. But I really, I think if I had just played aggressive, aggressive, Ju aggressive Vader, Vader instead I think of it, I think it, Yeah, I, I kind of agree with you. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so. That concludes Star Wars. Because we we'd be, like, interacting the whole time. Exactly. And instead of me presenting things and, like, taking cards out of your hand without you having yeah. to be able to do anything about them. Um, we'll be back on on Wednesday with more Star Wars. We have Boba Yellow versus Leia Yellow. And then Han Green versus Leia Red. Han, mm. Han and Leia are going to fight to the death. And those are both very good decks. I don't know which one I feel like is... Oh, uh, Han Green too. is well positioned against Leo Red. Do you think so? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Han Green can crush Leo Red. Okay, so. okay. Um, All right. Boba Yellow, Leia Yellow, that's probably Boba Yellow's game to mm -hmm. lose. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I think I think Han Green probably crushes Leo Red. So that'll be Wednesday. Uh, we'll be back with Keyforge tomorrow. We're continuing our top eight. Yes. Of our tournament for the belt. Yes. Very excited about that. And uh, that's it. Happy Star Wars weekend, guys. Hope you guys had a good one. Yep.